What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So y'all know Cardi B has been doing the most these past few days on X. She has been coming for her fans as well as the trolls. Like anybody who has had the audacity to have her name in their mouth has been addressed by Cardi. So the other day, Joe Budden got on his podcast and he was basically talking about how Cardi B won't be releasing her album anytime soon. Then he said, I'm sure Offset wants Cardi to put out an album. Hey fellas out there, you know that feeling when you want your B to get a job? You in the house and the B won't leave. She just in there on top of you, on top of everything, not giving you space. Cardi then fired back and called him a hater, all types of things. Why are you always worrying about what I got going on? And to, and to be realistic, you're not worried about my album because you want to hear it. Because if you want to hear it, you could pull up to my studio session. Titi Torres, the director of High 97, heard my album. She asked, she DMs me all the time, I want to hear what you got. I right, pull up on me. If you want to hear my album, pull up to my studio session. But you really want my album to come out so you could criticize it. Because every single time I drop a record, you don't like it. Every single time I drop something and they're doing mediocre, you say they're doing better than me. Every, everything you do, whether it's my personal life or whether it's my music life, you always talk about it. But then, but you fake thirsty for my album. No, you don't. You're not thirsty for my album. You're thirsty to criticize it. You're thirsty to kick it down. You're thirsty to talk shit about it. You never compliment me. When's the last time you compliment me? You were, you were so thirsty to interview a bitch. You call, you call her interesting. They almost made me go to suicidal in 2019. Said how many losses they got? They ain't searching for a, a thing. So why are you always talking about my album and you gotta connect? You don't have no connect. My family don't even know about my my business, my work business. The album is never. What are you talking about? The is in motion. The merch is in more motion. The boxes, the box sets are in motion. You don't know what's going on on this side. You don't know it. I don't understand why I keep getting harassed by this man. You want to interview or something? You want to hear my album so bad? If you want to hear my album so bad, you could pull up to my studio session. You could pull up. But I'm really sick and tired of you keeping my name in my my name in your mouth. And then you acting like you acting like you you keeping it there because you really want a project for me. No, you want to tear my project down like you tear down every of my single. Like you you tear down my single. You tear down my personal life. You tear down everything I do. So it's not coming from a genuine place. It's not coming from a genuine place. So you need to stop that. Leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone. What is it that you want from me? What is it you want from me? Cause you're not gonna last here. I just want the album. I just want the this. No, you talk, you talk, you talk about every single I do. You compare old to me. You compare new to me. You compare every single to me. You don't compare new to new bitch. You don't compare old, old bitch. You compare everybody is, Everybody has to beat Cardi B, but it's Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B. So yesterday, this ex-user named Paradise Paris posted this to her ex account. She said, why does Cardi B feel she's above criticism? All her peers are dropping albums and doing progressive things in their career. And she sticks out like a sore thumb. No tours, no meet and greet, no merch, one album, featured singles and viral moments. Is she a rapper or does she rant? Cardi immediately responded saying, that's not what I said. F you and your three stomachs be. This prompted Paris to respond with a whole video reading Cardi for filth. And when I tell you she ate her up, left no crumbs. Just watch. Y'all may as well tag Cardi B because I'm finna give it to her like she thinks she give it up. And before y'all start, no, she came and found my tweet after all the tweets that I was tweeting to praise her and chose that one. And she should have stood on it. Now, don't delete nothing because I'm just now seeing it and I just woke up and it hit the blogs. Yeah, you caught red hand all that backbiting you thought you was going behind your button and clearing him for. You doing the same thing. Don't throw no rock and hide your hand, Miss Mamas. It ain't an itch or sketch in the mother who could ever make me feel bad about my body you done touched everything on you and you still got so many insecurities because you can't keep your husband at home you to pay for to get beat up because they want to suck the same you suck it that's not a me problem that's a you problem it could be four stomachs it could be six stomachs it could be seven stomachs at the end of the day you to sat there and pay for everything on you and you still insecure you still cannot keep yourself in the media selling and the sex ain't going nowhere. It don't matter how much of a bad you think you are with them hard 
At the end of the day, what was said about you is correct. Your ass is sitting around trying to make sure you keep your family intact and your ass is still over here cussing out fans, delusional fans, when you're getting passed up by every single body around you. You call yourself this bad ass rapper and you in this terrible Sister deal with Atlantic when well, you need to be sitting around worried about how you gonna make sure these tracks hit the charts and stay because even your peers are passing you up. It's no reason why Megan Thee Stallion is on tour right now, came out behind you, and you done did a number one album, and your can't even put out an actual single that stays on the charts longer than two weeks. So, yeah, what I said was correct, and if it hit a nerve, that's too much. Bad. Maybe you need to get in the booth and maybe you need to figure out how to get some records that are actually going to stay on the charts and stop cussing out these fans who are kids that like you acting like you so for your fans and y'all in a good relationship when you act real fucking homophobic when you sat there and told them boys he was a fag he was a sissy you got bigger fish to fry and it ain't me so the next time you feel like you want to come for me first of all you better stand on what you said you better stand on what you said because I'm the that's going to give it to you I don't give a how black you want to pretend you are i'm really that don't nobody look at me and question it i don't care about your accomplishment because next time you want to say something out your mouth i'm gonna be right here to give it right back to you now honestly speaking i feel like cardi or even anybody should never ever body shame anyone especially after you've had that much work done body shaming is just the lowest of blows and it speaks volumes it shows how low your self-esteem really is that you have to put other people down to feel good about yourself. I think Cardi should stop cursing out her fans like that because it's becoming too much at this point and it's not a good look, especially when she is out here giving her fans nothing but a single here and there. Anyways, as always, do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Catch you in the next one.